wanna know his secret? Hey, what is up guys? Grenader here today. Welcome to a uh, part two to this amazing series of just awesomeness and tutorials. So, episode two, welcome. Um, today we're going to learn how to slow down things using Twixta. So Twixter is a plugin that goes into Adobe After Effects and you can get this totally for, uh, what the hell is Camtasia doing, girl? Camtasia, go back. No, 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 bad girl. Anyways. Twixter is a uh, plugin that helps you slow down clips uh, to amazingly just freaking amazing slowdown. It's like having one of those slow mo cameras without paying a lot of money. So, um, Twixter you can get for free. It's, um, no, actually I have to pay for it, but what I mean for free, you can get it cracked. Duh. Anyways, um, you can get it cracked, and then once you download it, um, you install it using the installer that it comes with. And so, like I said, uh, you can go on um, Google here real quick. Uh, let's go to YouTube, our buddy YouTube over here. And then uh, you can just type in how to get Twixta, Twixta, let's, I misspelled that, Twixtor. And then just put a After Effects CS6 for free. Like, it doesn't even have to make sense. And here it is. Um, here it is, the first one, actually. And it shows hey, you how to get Twixter 5.0 and Twitch for free. No torrent and no nothing. Here you go. Here's a link. All that stuff. So go watch this guy's video. You can uh, just look it up. Um, and I'll leave this video in the description below if you want to watch that. So anyways, uh, let's read this comment real quick. Real damn quick. It says... Um, 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 come on, load. It says something, I think, come on. Uh, let's go back to this thing. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to slow-mo things. So what you wanna do is start a new project or just open up After Effects, and then you wanna right click and import and file, or you can just import the old way. Anyways, we are going to do the clip I showed you in the video, and that was from my montage itself. If you haven't watched that, there's a link to that below. And if you already watched it, thank you for watching it, man. You're amazing. Um, let's see. I'm probably gonna show you guys how to slow mo it, like in this one, where it's like I get a collat, and this one's the actual rendered version. But we're gonna unrender it and use the part where it's just the raw footage. So, after you import it, you wanna drag it over to this little movie clip thing with the shapes, and it should bring up uh, this little menu here. So as you can see, you can play through it. It's gonna be a bit laggy, but there it is, boom, collat, and um, that's what it is. So boom, collat, and boom, collat, and boom, collat. I can make a song. Anyways, uh, we're gonna, f we actually, before we even start, we want to right click Go to time, enable time remapping, right click once again, go to frame blending, go to pixel motion, and then you want to go to composition, composition settings, change that to 59.94, and then um, you want to speed this up. Um, this clip is two seconds long, and trust me when I say Twixter takes up a lot of time. So you want to, this is two seconds, so let's make it maybe 30 seconds just to have enough more than enough space to uh, mess around with Twixter. And so, uh, let's just leave it right there. So, we want to go in the point of time where we find the perfect moment for us to just, I don't know, Twixter it. So, um, I believe that in the clip I Twixtered it, me scoping in. So, we're just going to do that. If I didn't, well, I guess, oops, I fucked up. Anyways, um, the point in time where that happened was right here so let's just go back and like right here right here all right so th that's the exact point in time right there right here all right this is the exact point in time so we're gonna go back like two frames one two um and then we're going to add twixtor and um i think it's an re plugins and here it is but if you don't know how to do that you just go to effect have this selected boys effect go down to re vision plugins and whatever twixter pro 
Twixer and Twixer Pro are the same thing. I don't know. I really don't see a difference, but I use Twixer Pro. So 59.94, um, where it says input frame rate. You want to change that to whatever the video is. So we're doing 60 frames per second. That looks the best. And so after that, you want to go to, not that. You want to go to image prep, put contrast and edge enhance or whatever that says. And then you want to go to main BG layer settings, set that at a 100. And then you want to go where it says speed and hit the little clock. That's going to make a keyframe. And so you want to go down to effects, trickster pro, output control, and just uh, do this real quick. You want to make this a bit smaller if you can. Um, so we have more room, or if you have a bigger screen, uh, lucky you, I have a tiny ass laptop, so um, enough complaining, here we go. So the point in time, here it uh, it made a keyframe, so it's like, hey, right here at this keyframe, we're going to continue at normal speed. And what we want to do is go up, up, or go over two frames where we started, um, and just uh, change the time. So we're going to slow this down to maybe a one to make it just dramatically slow and so as you can see here at this point it's like hey 100 speed at this point it's like hey we're gonna slow down to one so this uh, makes an easy and nice beautiful transition as you can see here it says um, 100 and at the middle between here it says 50 percent of speed and so from here to here it makes a beautiful transition into a slow-mo and uh, let's see let's zoom out a little bit scroll up and we want to stretch this out because we know we're going to go past this point and we just want to see how it looks like so that's how it's going to look like it's going to look like that so you just want to keep on scoping in and you want to obviously drag this out to where it's going to stop so right here oh wait hang on hang on i fucked up okay control z control z um just stretch this out a little bit and then just pull that over like that and then just pull it over and pull it over and pull it over and pull it over and yes it takes up a lot of time so remember that and you know what we're just not gonna make it that long guys I'm sorry uh, I'm sorry about that let's just um right there I guess is beautiful right there right before it starts warping like crazy so uh, scroll back down zoom in a little bit and then go up and just kind of find that little point again and then you want to hit the little keyframe or the little um, diamond looking thing here. It's going to make a keyframe, so don't worry if that happens. Go over two frames and then change it back to 100. After that, it's going to go back to normal speed. You get that quick scope and boom, guys. Beautiful. We're going to zoom out here. And uh, this is our final product. We're going to come in here, you know, slow mo right here, and then just go back and quick scope. And if you want to, you can do the same thing after, you know, you get the kill. Maybe you want to slow-mo it there. You'd go back two frames, keyframe it at 100, you, then you go two over again, right where you want it, you know. Add the keyframe for one uh, speed, then keep on going until you're done, right there. And then you'd put one, and then keyframe again, and then just do what, exactly what we did okay do exactly what we did if you want to do that for the sake of time we're just gonna do this little part so hopefully you learned how to do that part and now a bonus part I'm going to show you how to uh, do the color correction so the color correction a tool I use is um, where is it it's uh, magic bullet looks this is very expensive it's over like 800 bucks I think but again get it for free cracked duh anyways once you get it for free all you want to do is go to layer and make sure that you have that selected layer new and then go to adjustment layer after that it's going to add an adjustment layer and then at the end of this clip which is right here you can just kind of slice it so control alt or control shift excuse me control shift d all right make sure your layer selected control shift d and that should ew why do i have a pencil what the fuck what is up guys uh just really quick a little interruption camtasia sort of you know fucked up on me because i used the shortcut to cut a clip in this uh, video and so what happened was that since i was recording at the same time camtasia just assumed i was wanting to draw something on the screen so um i had a, l a little bit of trouble here but the actual like shortcut 
to slice clips in After Effects is in in fact um, Control Shift D, and that sh uh, cuts the clips in half or whatever you want to call it, slices them, and that's what it does. And I just wanted to tell you guys real quick before letting you guys go again because I guess right now, since I already told you, um, you guys can just watch me just kind of try and uh, figure out what's going on. And I didn't know that until after the video and I didn't want to go back and re-edit everything. So I'm just quickly commentating over this part so you know what's going on. So um, enjoy watching me just freak out. So be right back. Okay. What the fuck? Why do I have this? What the f Escape. What the fuck? Okay, con control shift D. What the f- Come on. What the- What the hell? Oh my god. Okay. Control shift D. Control shift S. Control shift D. Um, guys, I'll be right back after I figure out what the fuck's going on. Alright guys, I'm back, and unfortunately what happened is that since I'm recording, control shift D is actually the shortcut to uh, the drawing thing or the drawing effect on Camtasia so if you didn't know well you learned anyways instead of just cutting it like that fuck it let's just make it a bit smaller zoom in a little bit make sure we get it just right so it doesn't look ridiculous uh, zoom right back out then you want to drag the magic bullet looks onto your adjustment layer and then um, edit and down after this thing loads up you're going to be greeted with a beautiful screen that looks just like this that's going to show you um, how it's going to look like once it's you know just affected but this frame is just nasty so we're going to choose this frame where we're doing that so as you can see if we go into edit again it's going to automatically update and take you to this uh, frame or this point in time if you will okay so uh, if you put your little mouse here to the left it's going to bring down all these cool frames and filters and things like that there's a bunch there's an endless amount of uh, filters I would say um, endless amount of fil filters that, 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 that okay there's an endless amount of filters out there there let's just say that anyways I uh, for my tutorial or my uh, montage excuse me I can't even speak um, you guys make me nervous anyways uh, for the uh, montage I used the blockbuster look as you can see here and um, and there were parts where it was too dark so what you can do is go to the lift and lift it up a little bit with uh, the whites go to the gamma you can bring that down just a tad and boom you hit finish over here in the corner don't hit the X I done I've done that several times don't hit the X hit the little finish and so you should get this final product right here I think it looks beautiful I mean I love it I love just how it looks and um, that's pretty much it guys so thank you for watching leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this video and uh, 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 you don't know how to render wow you're fucking retarded uh -huh. just kidding guys you're not retarded you guys are amazing um, once you're done go to composition go to add to render queenie or the queen queen you whatever the fuck it says um, sorry for all the cursing I'm just pretty damn mad that the freaking pencil all right, so um, H.264, if you can't get that, um, I guess you should do um, QuickTime or AVI, but I love using H.264. It's amazing. It renders super fast. And uh, if you didn't see that, hopefully you saw that. Hit the Include Source XMP Data. Hit OK. And then after that, go to Output. And then go to wherever you want to save. I'm going to save this on my desktop six and whatever you want to save it as or save <laughs> hit the caps lock before you hit render that way it renders much more faster because if you hit caps it's going to render but without having to update the frame if you know that makes any sense anyway so this is going to render out this is probably going to take a couple of hours um i really don't know why after effects take so long here's here we go 45 minutes or 42 41 anyways um, here we go. It takes quite a while for it to render. That's because there's so many effects and things going on that it's just like taking its time. So thank you for watching. If you enjoy, ooh, I burped. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, if you uh, enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. I really appreciate it if you would, and please subscribe to this channel if you really love this content that I post. So thanks for watching episode two if you haven't already watch episode one if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about because episode one is noob friendly and this one is not well it kind of is but anyways as my episodes progress they're gonna get much more difficult so thanks for watching and peace out babies I love you <laughs>